I think I'm going to do is every time I see one of these ridiculous stories about the vaccines, I'm just going to use the our new shows to show you that it's stupid, uh, that it's wrong, that it's just a complete misinformation and disinformation, a complete uh, non-objective presentation of the facts. Uh, and I'll do this, you know, every couple of days or every few days as these stories hit. They usually hit on Twitter. And, um, and, and we'll see. Maybe I'll still have to do a whole show uh, to do it. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I don't. But here it is uh, in terms of uh, vaccines. Just one little example. But I get, I get this several times a week. No, several times a day. Sorry. Several times I get a day I find on Twitter these kind of stories. I just picked this in random because the last, it, 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 it crossed uh, my Twitter three hours ago and it just, all right. So this is from uh, James Sintolo. He's a, a RNFM CPT. I, I guess RN is a registered nurse. He, his uh, Twitter description says he's an expert, expert on medical and nutritional health. Um, although his tweets don't reflect his employer's opinion. Who knows who his employer is? And he is followed by a huge amount of people. He has 76,600 followers. So this is a, an expert on, on, on medical and nutritional science. Um, uh, this is the tweet. Breaking. New bombshell. Bombshell. New Zealand study found alarming increases in myocardi myocarditis an acute kidney injury, alarming increases, I'm reminding you, an acute kidney injury within 21 days of taking a second dose of Pfizer COVID vaccine. Uh, yeah, that, so I'll focus on that one. All right. And he gives a table, and he shows the numbers, uh, incident rate and uh, second dose and risk differences, and then he said second dose for the, for the kidney stuff, oh, and the second dose for 5 to 19-year-olds, Huge, huge. You know, the, the, the incidence ra ratio, 95%. I mean, I mean, you read this and you go, whoa, whoa. Um, alarming. This is truly alarming. I just look at this table and I read this tweet and I go, study found alarming increases. And this is not just any study, right? He, he doesn't link to the study, of course. They never do. He links to, um, uh, I think, his... Um, he links to his uh, substack, which only then links to the study. But, it, you know, as, as good researchers do, I went to the study. So I went to the study, and, and I read the study. And the study finds the same thing that everybody else finds. Uh, they find an increase in myocarditis um, among people who receive uh, the vaccines. Um, a very, very small increase, alarming, but not alarming, very, very small increase in myocarditis. Um, they, they compare the results to um, kind of a, a benchmark. So they compare it to mycodysis uh, among uh, the same population. This is all in New Zealand between 2014 and 2019. And they want to see, is there an increase, right? And uh, what's interesting is they don't compare this to 2020 uh, in terms of whether there was an increase from COVID itself, which would have been interesting. So that's unfortunate that they don't compare it to that. But they do compare it to a normal uh, period. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, read you what the study actually says uh, in in the section called this is uh, interpretation. Now this is all in the abstract, but uh, I read the study and the study reaffirms this abstract. There's not, nothing uh, okay. Interpretation. Remember remember the tweet. The tweet was uh, bombshell an alarming increase. Okay, this is what the uh, the actual study says. Although rare. A statistically significant association between vaccination and myo, uh, myocarditis or uh, pericarditis and AKI. AKI is acute kidney something. I is, where is it? It says here in this AKI. I, I, so some uh, kidney disease, um, some kidney problems was observed. Notice, rare, very rare, but statistically significant, but very rare. Not alarming increase. While the association between the vaccine and myopericarditis has been confirmed internationally, we know this, there's no, nothing uh, new or bombshell about this, further research is required to understand the associated with AKI. Yeah, they, they found 
uh, acute kidney injury, not uh, incidence, injury. Um, uh, but note that it's tiny, it's super rare, but it, it does happen. Um, uh, uh, the vaccine was not found to be associated with, uh, with most of the AESIs investigated. ASI is adverse event of special interest. So there were no statistics significant for any other adverse event. Providing reassurance around safety of the vaccine. Okay, just to give you a sense of the, uh, 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 the um, uh, myocarditis increase that was observed. Uh, da, 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 da. Following, this, uh, following the second dose, so fo this is the following the second dose of the vaccine, which is the, the highest. Um, an estimated five, five people, additional myocarditis cases per 100,000 persons vaccinated. So every 100,000 people vaccinated, five, you'd ex you, you, you saw an increase of five more people getting myocarditis. I mean, where is the alarming bombshell, alarming increase? Five of 100,000 is an alarming increase. It's completely known. It's not, it doesn't deviate from every other study I've seen out there. Yes, there's an increase in myocarditis. When you take the vaccine and, and oh, this was among, sorry, this five increases among the, 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 this is the worst age, right? The five to 19, which are the most susceptible to myocarditis post-vaccine. Everybody else, it was much, much smaller. So you get five out of 100,000 increase in myocarditis from five to 19. That's consistent with everybody else out there. Consider just with every study out there. There's no bombshell here. There's no significant increase. There's frigging nothing here. There is some interesting, maybe possible, uh, a, a acute kidney injury issue, um, but it's much smaller than five per, per hundred thousand. Much smaller than that. It is five hundred thousand is um, is statistically significant. So I wouldn't dismiss it completely. There's something going on there. Okay, so uh, you know I I've from the beginning said I, I'm I'm dubious about young people from five to nineteen needing to get a vaccine. COVID is not a threat to them, so why are they getting the vaccine? But the fact is, the reality is, you know, they're getting a slight increase in myocarditis, very slight, five in 100,000. Um, uh, you know, five in 100 is 5%. Five in 1,000 is 0.5%. Five in 10,000 is 0.05%. Five in 100,000 is 0.005%. This is what the anti-vaxxers are flipping out over and calling an emergency and, you know, going nuts about. This is truly insanity. Insanity. There is literally no evidence out there that COVID vaccines have increased death, have increased hospitalization because of heart disease, in any kind of significant manner, at the very, very margin, a tiny fraction. What I think I'll do is I'll just sprinkle in these vaccines things uh, because it happens so often. I'll sprinkle these in uh, along the way uh, as we go, as I read these studies. I don't know why I'm wasting my time reading these studies. I I'm doing it basically to educate you guys and to try, 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 try to bring some, to, 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 for you to realize how ludicrous these people are. I mean, there are massive issues with COVID response. Lockdowns were immoral. Uh, mandates, vaccine mandates and mask mandates were immoral. There's lots of things to complain about, to complain about. But this is absurd. I don't have a preconceived conclusion. I have a, I have all the evidence on my side. That's what I have. My conclusion is a consequence of the evidence. And every time, every time somebody presents me with evidence to the contrary, I actually go and read the studies, which nobody else does. I actually read the studies and, re and, and realize when I read the studies that the people who are on the other side don't know what they're talking about. Evidence is still coming out, and I, still, I keep reading it. I keep reading it. And I will present you with overwhelming evidence from countries 
that have uh, that uh, vaccinated much more than the United States has and saw death rate from heart disease go down. It's, you know, uh, you can take study by study, every individual study. This is the, the, the mentality. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, uh, a mentality they won't accept. They, they bought into conspiracy theory. The same thing with Trump, the same thing with the last election, the same. Evidence doesn't matter. Evidence doesn't matter. We don't know what we're still going to find out. We might find out that in Georgia they stole all these ballots and there's a, there's a repository of them underground somewhere or, you know, whatever. There's always something that you can arbitrarily imagine that could happen to prove your case. But that's the mentality of a conspiracy theorist, of somebody who believes in conspiracy theories. There's always the next study. There's another study. It'll come out. You'll see. The truth will be revealed. But every single study out there, not every single study out there shows it was the same thing when I talked about uh, ivermectin. All right. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.